Welcome to Updata Analytics. My name is David Linton. I founded Updata in London over 20 years ago and I'm happy to welcome you to really what is probably the best technical analysis system in the world. We have thousands of users in over 50 countries running the system, many of them running on top of professional systems like Bloomberg or Reuters who want to increase the power of the technical analysis. And Updata is compatible with over a hundred different data services and what I want to do in just this quick getting started video is just show you the power of that. Now when you installed your system you were probably offered um, the ability to configure feeds but in this tray icon down the bottom here you can literally at any time go and select new feeds and add them in. Our professional and enterprise versions run on the professional products like Bloomberg and Reuters, Thomson Reuters, um, but uh, there's a whole series of data feeds and as I say it's over a hundred different data sources. So you can configure feeds and add feeds at any time and that's really powerful. So here I'm running a, a, a Thomson Reuters um, screen um, and there's a whole series of layouts and desktops available to you. So we start with the um, just the environment. It's a, a ribbons based environment just like you would use in um, Excel. Um, so very much the office theme. If you want to get rid of the ribbon to give yourself more space you just double click on the, the uh, menu title, the ribbon title and it will take that ribbon away or put it back. So that a lot of people like to do that to give themselves more screen real estate state. So chances are you're probably starting with fairly much a blank, blank screen um, and we just basically will just take you through getting started very quickly. There are hundreds of resources to look at and update, lots of videos, lots of help, but let's just imagine this is where you're starting. So the first thing that you're probably going to want to do, you can load layouts from our layouts library, but the first thing you're probably going to do is open a chart. So um, the tabs from the chart uh, uh, finder here um, show up based on what feed you have configured. So um, it remembers the codes but you just type in the same code as you would. So this is Thomson Reuters icon. This is the code for the S&P 500. You just simply type in the same code as you would on your screen. So um, the chart open uh, dialog is here on new chart but also the space bar is a really quick way if you hit the space bar and here I can go to another feed so you can be configured for more than one thing so here I can go to another feed um, select that and now I have um, two windows open and so one is coming from Thomson Reuters icon the other one is coming from Google Finance so that's just a quick way of getting the charts if you want to change a chart just hit the F key um, there's a whole series of keystrokes and you will learn to uh, use them and so here we can now go and we can change this one and actually to a um, to uh, a, a, a Thomson Reuters chart. So this has come from Google. It's now Thomson Reuters icon. So you can literally change from one to the other. Really powerful. You can add the analysis really quickly and you can see here there's a whole series of uh, tools. But one of the things Update is famed for is price targets. So you just click on any chart, hit the T key and it will put the price targets and the percentages on straight away. So that's one of the most powerful things to do and I'm sure you're dying to just try that get a stock up that you own or a stock that you're interested in hit the T key and it will put the price trends and targets on automatically really powerful um, just brings that analysis to to the fore really really quickly of course there's a whole series of um, analysis techniques in updater you can do cloud charts there's all the different chart types here from the drop down you can do full blown market profile charts the sky is the limit and what i recommend you do if you want to see the power of the analysis that's available in updata go to our website and just see what videos are available to you there so if you wanted to look under technical analysis for example it will show you um, all the technical analysis uh, videos and you can watch a demo on our analysis techniques if you want to see how the point and figure is the best in the world this is a deep dive into the point and figure and we even have training videos where you can do a full understanding of how to use point and figure and, and, and how to read it and interpret it and understand it and there's a whole series of training videos there as well so just go to the website if you want to see the compatibility overview you can also do that as well so you can look at uh, data feeds for example you can go and see 
all the different data feeds and video demos of Updater running on those feeds. So really, really valuable in that regard as well. So and the analysis, the sky is really the limit. You can um, add as much analysis as you want really, really quickly. This this one here on the uh, tools menu, the charts drop down, is another really quick way of doing um, analysis. So you can do things like MACD, here you can set all the settings, completely configurable. If you want to take anything off your chart, just hit the C key and it will remove all that analysis. As I say, have a look at those videos and feel free to follow me. Then on the quotes menu, we have you can set up your own quotes board. If you're setting up your own lists, this is a really powerful one. You can do it from pasted text. You can do it from one feed source to another, whichever feed you've got. You can even paste in here from Excel. So if you've got all your codes in an Excel sheet, just coat them in here, select the data provider, and you can then add the um, code prefixes and suffixes and straight away it will create that list. So that is also just a really powerful thing. The scanning and alerting in Updater is really, really powerful and you can literally scan for any um, criteria you want. And we have a whole set of um, pre-written scans, really great. They're available to you in the, in the highlighter library, but you can also create from new. And this environment is very quick, very sort of um, drop-down driven so you don't have to write any code and you can say okay I want to scan for momentum you can scan for any pretty well anything you like um, and you can scan for multiple criteria as well of course you can scan on custom indicators you can scan on point and figure um, really powerful scans find me the stocks with the most upside potential with the highest targets that's again one of the videos in the scanning take a look at our um, video under scanning you can even scan for head and shoulders diverse emergence, all sorts of things there, candle patterns, um, so really powerful scanning and you can automate those scans as well. In fact, the Enterprise Edition of Updater has a full-blown report writing and workflow um, capability and also um, outputting to Office. So a lot of uh, banks use this for running their daily scans, having those scans ready for them when they get in in the morning, producing their chart books, etc. The custom coding section in Updater, really, really powerful. And again, take a look at our demo videos on custom coding. See our um, course on custom coding in the uh, training videos. But again, Again, there's a library with over a thousand pre-written um, custom code um, indicators everything that you could ever imagine just and you can search these so if you wanted to look at different RSI's that have been written you just type in RSI and there are 45 charts with variations on the RSI so really powerful you can write your own code of course um, and then if you uh, wanted to use uh, Visual Basic or C Sharp, you can actually write really powerful code, but Update has an easy language. Uh, this is the News and Fundamentals menu. You can set up RSS news feeds. You can actually run portfolios as well, um, and then um, you can export data out. And then there's a whole series of settings. So it's really, really a powerful system, but just start by drawing a chart and hitting that T key. Instant gratification, that will get you started on using the system. And after a little while, I'm confident you'll become completely hooked. If you want to look at the help, of course, the help is really detailed. Um, you can see here, um, if you want to look at all the different uh, technical indicators, there's a whole series of, uh, so if you want to understand how the overbought oversold indicator works, it's all written for you here. So you can actually just see, it's a really good resource on terms of what all the different indicators do as well. So really, really powerful. And of course, uh, if you want to look at the videos, these are available to you at any time. You can just go here, it'll take you to our Google channel, and there's lots and lots of pre-recorded videos. Uh, so how to use the point and figure. We do our weekly videos of charts this week, and so every week you can follow me, and our daily videos, and we do our morning calls as well. So lots of resources to share with you along the way. Literally hundreds and hundreds of videos um, to help you get the most from the system. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, of course, if you have any questions, you can uh, email us or message us on chat at any time. Uh, really great feature that, and we're more than happy to help. But here's to you getting the most from the system and seeing the benefit it can bring to your trading. Hope you're charting. Hope you'll join us.